Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It's the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 30 of Assassin's Creed Revelations the SEO Collection. In the previous episode, we completed sequence 9. That was about it, so we actually took the game to 100%, and effectively ended, well, did end, Ezio and Altair's era, which is, you know, why the episode was called the um, end of two eras. Um, so, yeah, you might be thinking, what else have we got to do? Well, as I explained, uh, just so that I could round the episode up to an even 32, um, obviously after this we've got the two parts of the Lost Archive that we're going to be doing as well. Uh, I've decided to keep the little bonus cutscene for collecting all the books until episode 30, and then after that we're going to go through all of our weapons and stuff and the final run-through of our synchronization bar and then we can move swiftly on. So without further ado, let's start up that cutscene. Oh, jumped a bit there, buddy. Hello! Hmm? Ezio, you old snake. You walked right past me. Uh, forgive me, Sophia, I did not notice. What are you doing in Galata? Making some deliveries. Is this where you stay? Uh, see, si. It is a kind of school. What is taught here? Come this way. I want to show you something. I have been stalking the library here with rare books. A good start, no? Ah, these are all so beautiful. And such diversity. So are these men and women your students? In a way, yes. Well, if they ever need a literature scholar, give them my name. In a pinch, I am a pretty good teacher. If they find the time to read, I certainly will. Oh, Chaucer! Bellissimo! And that is that. That's all there is to that cutscene. So, yeah, that's it. Now, we've, we've viewed every cutscene in the game, no more dialogue from Ezio. For the rest of the series, unfortunately. But yeah, so let's have a look at what we've got here. So, um, just have a pause and a read. If you um, want to have a look at these, just going to quickly go over everything that we've unlocked over the course of the game. Uh, let's see what we've got down here. Degenis Akritas. Alright. Um, here we have. Tyrant La Blanche. Um, the Biblioteca. And the Chronica. Alright, uh, back here we actually have quite a lot. The Travels of Marco Polo. 1001 Nights. Book of Kings. Nibel Elengundenlide. <laughs> I think these are all the um, uh, the polo books. Iliad. The Canterbury Tales. And The Flute Girl. Very nice. Over here we have quite a few. The Secret History of the Mongols. Rec record of the Grand Historian. The Golden Ass. Metapho metamorphoses. Here. History of the Kings of Britain. Anabis Alexandri. Opus Magis. Heimskrillinger. Could have butchered that pronunciation there, haven't I? Um, got a couple over here. Parallel Lives. The Odyssey. Mu Alakat. Anid. Geography. And the Book of Prophecies. Okay. Um, what do we have here? Mission to Constantinople. Uh, 
Aesop's Fables. I think that's it. I think we've pretty much covered the basics. Oh, oh we've got this one over here, haven't we? On nature. Yep. Looks to be everything. Alright, very good. So we've got other books there. Uh, this next room is the armor room, or our armory, with um, all of our swords and daggers and whatnot. So we've got the Roman stiletto, the Arabian dagger, butcher's knife, and standard stiletto. So you can just look at all the statistics if you want, but we've already got the best weaponry out. Yusuf's Turkish Kijil, which is the best sword in the game. The Janissaries, Janissaries Kijil, the Persian Shamsir, Shamsir. And the Assassin Yetagan Sword, which is the one that we started with, I believe. The one that uh, we started the game with. We have Afghan Kibber Blade, a Bayzid's Knife, Macedonian Dagger, the Kurdish Jambia and Mem Memets, Mehmet's Dagger, which is the best dagger in the game. Of course, both of those are five across the board. Mental. Altair's Sword, the Sicilian Rapier, the Syrian Sabre, and the Florentine Falchion. Or Falcon, I don't know. Um, this is the Vlad, Vlad Tepes' sword, which you get from finishing um, the Vlad the Impaler tomb, that we did quite a while ago. The Mervogen Mer Axe, Sledgehammer, Byzantine Arming Sword, and Byzantine Mace. Of course, we both got those in those last two in Cappadocia. We have the Ottoman Mace, the Condotario Mace, the Mercenario Warhammer, and the Prussian Warhammer. Little wish, little lisp there. We have the broadsword, the Prussian longsword, and the French bastard sword. On this side, we have the Almogavar axe, the Condottorio axe, and the bearded axe. And finally, over here, we have the captain sword, the Milanese sword, and the Schiavona. And that is all the weapons in the game. So yeah, we've got the bolt, the best of both. Um, even if you just um, focus on, you know. If you prefer heavy heavy weaponry, out of all the weaponry, we've got the best. There's only one that's five across, and that's um, the you know Yusuf sword. Um, here is the um, Sepahi. Or is that Sepahi? Or something? I don't know how you pronounce that. It's the full armor set of this. Of course, we're in the Ishak Bashar's armor at the moment, so obviously we can't display that because it's already on us. We've got the Master Assassin Pauldrons, chest guard, Van Bruce and Greaves. Let's have a look at that. Uh, over here, we have the Maluk metal, the um, yeah Maluk sparblers, chest plate, braces, and greaves. And finally, we have the Azap le leather. So well, I think those would be the uh, first one that we could buy. All right, uh, that appears to be everything other than the synchronization. So let's have a look at our 100% sync meter. See, this one's going to be very quick. I don't think we've got anything new in the database, so... Um, sequence 1, the Stars of Homecoming. We had the Hagman, a Narrow Escape, a Journal of some kind, a Hard Ride, and the Wounded Eagle. In sequence 2, we had the Crossroads of the World, a Warm Welcome, Upgrade and Explore, the Hook Blade, the View from Galata, Advanced Tactics, On the Defense, and On the Attack. Sequence 3, Lost and Found, with The Prisoner, The Sentinel Part 1, Guild Contracts, Bomb Crafting, A Familiar Face, The Erebitan Cistern, Quid Pro Quo, The Mentor's Keeper, Curse of the Romany, and The Sentinel Part 2. Sequence 4, which is the Uncivil War, we had The Prince's Banquet, An Uneasy Meeting, The Fourth Part of the World, Signs and Symbols Part 1, Galata Tower, Mentor's Wake, Sequence 5, which is Head to the Empire. We have the Janissaries, the Arsenal Gates, Arsenal Infiltration, Portrait of a Lady, Sands and Symbols Part 2, The Throne of the Ox, and a New Regime. Sequence 6, which is Fortune and Disfavor. We had Into the Shadows, Honor Lost and One, The Bearer of Mixed Tidings, A Little Errand, Sands and Symbols Part 3, Maiden's Tower, Mentor's Return and Setting Sail. Sequence 7, which is Underworld, which is our adventures in Cappadocia. We had the Hidden City, the Spy Who Shunned Me, the Renegade, Decommissioned, Last of the Paleology, Escape, and Passing the Torch. Sequence 8, The End of an Era, we had Discovery, The Exchange, 
and End of the Road. Family Sequence 9, last episodes of Ends and Revelations, Homecoming, Lost Legacy, and The Message. Going to our secret locations, we had Hagia Sophia's Secret and the, Impla the, uh, the Impaler's Tomb. In our Recruit Assassin missions, we had the Brawler, the Pupil, the Avenger, the Acrobat, the Beggars, and the Pickpocket. In the Master Assassin missions, of course, we had the Deacon Part 1 and 2. We had the Trickster Part 1 and 2. We had the Champion Part 1 and 2. The Guardian Part 1 and 2. The Vizier Part 1 and 2. And last but not least, the Thespian Part 1 and Part 2. Two. We have the Faction HQ missions, of which we have the Unfortunate Son and Loose Lips. In the book quests, of course, we had Hippodrome, Galata, Arsenal, Throne of the Ox, Aqueduct, Church 1, and Church 2. In Piri Reyes missions, we had Thunder, Smokescreen, Cherry, Datura, Caltrops, Smoke decoy and sticky sticky situations and tripwire. With uh, challenges, of course, the assassins guild, call assassins during a fight, call assassins on a target, use arrow storm, call your assassins within a story mission, recruit assassins, train recruits to the rank of master assassin, successfully perform a den defense. We had the mercenaries guild use mercenaries on guards, destroy a scaffold by throwing someone into it, kill an enemy using a thrown weapon, disarm and kill a guard with his own weapon, kill a Byzantine Alm Almogavar, perform a hook and throw, perform a double assassination, kill five guards in under ten seconds in melee, perform a combo streak combo kill streak of at least five kills, and kill an Ottoman Janissary. Um we had the Romanis Guild. Use Romanis on guards, evade using stealth, crowd, or hiding spots. Kill guards using the crossbow without being detected. Use tactical bombs to escape guards. Kill a stalker without getting stabbed. Kill guards using poison. Kill guards using bombs without being spotted. Assassinate a guard from behind. Assassinate a guard from a blend spot. Kill three enemies dazed by a single smoke bomb before it dissipates. We, of course, had the Thieves Guild. Use thieves on guards, sprint uninterrupted for 300 meters, perform a hook and run, perform a leap of faith, climb a total distance of 1 kilometer, steal money with a counter steal, perform a dive of at least 30 meters, kill a guard using throwing knives, perform an air assassination on guards from a beam, and perform a zipline assassination, and last but not least, we have bombs, which stick a, ga stick a bomb on a guard, kill a mission target with a bomb, distract a guard using bombs, kill 5 guards with a single bomb, kill guards with tripwire bombs, Craft a bomb with every shell type, use a bomb, kill a guard incapacitated by a bomb, craft one bomb of each effect type, and use every bomb effect at least twice. And finally, we have the additional memories, i.e. the collectibles. So of course we've got all 22 viewpoints. We have all 100 Animus data fragments. We have all 10 Ishak Bashar's memoir pages. We have all 106 treasures. And we have all 15 hidden treasures. And then, uh, of course, aside from that, obviously we've seen all the upgrades and the Desmond's journey. So inventory, armor, of course we've got Ishak Bashar's across, the best weaponry. Best weapons here, Hidden Blade, Mem Mehmet's Dagger, Yusuf Tur Yusuf's Turkish Kajil, Hook Blade and a Crossbow. Supplies, throwing knives, fully stocked, fast poison, fully stocked bullets, medicine, parachutes and crossbow bolts. Bombs, um... We use the shrapnel bomb, all of them with British gunpowder impact shells, so what I consider to be the best. Mm. Items, of course we have all of the Massey of Keys, Animus Data Fragments and Ishak Bashar's memoir pages. Outfits, we've got Desmond from completing Desmond's journey, Old Altair from finishing sequence 9. Turkish Assassin Armour, Altair's robes and the Armour of Brutus are rewards from Uplay I believe. And ingredients of course, we're fully stocked on a few shells, impact shells, sticky pouches and trip wires. Gunpowders, Arabic gunpowder, British gunpowder, and Indian gunpowder, and effects of course caltrops, coal dust, Dichira powder, lamb's blood, phosphorus, pyrite coins, saltipetra, shrapnel, skunk oil, and sulfur. One last look at the map guys, completely done, there's nothing else that we can do. Everything is all lovely and perfect. Look at all that assassin influence. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Constantinople, 100% income. Database, uh, we want to pick up anything new, so I'm not going to bother going through that, but I'm uh, just going to squ quickly skip through these to see everyone that we picked up over time. 
contacts. I don't bother reading all these names, otherwise we will be here forever. And targets. It's actually going longer than I thought it was. I didn't think I'd go into this much detail. So these are all the ones in Constantinople. So obviously if you're missing any, just go through this list and you'll be able to find which it is that you are missing. And then you can look it up and find where it is that you need to go. But yeah, they should all be here. Yeah, it was typically I was just going to go through the 100% sync thing and then just end it there, but I don't know, this feels like a nice ending. I haven't done this for any of the other games, so. Alright, that's all the ones in Constantinople. In Cappadocia, there's just the one, and in Masyaf, there's just the one, so I shouldn't bother about that. And then, obviously, all the bomb codexes, not going to bother. Could just have seen. And there we go. So, yeah, we have gone through absolutely everything there is to do, and as such, we have finished our time with Ezio Auditori da Firenze. That is where we're going to end it for today. I know it's a bit of a short one, and a bit of a naff one, because the only new content that you've got there, other than me showing you a couple of the weapons that we couldn't afford previously, was that small cutscene that only lasted a couple of minutes, but... Yeah, I just kind of wanted to drag it out to 32 episodes as opposed to 31 because it looks grim and I'm just like that. <laughs> so yeah, of course, in the next episode we will be starting the Lost Archive DLC, which is unfortunately the kind of DLC that follows on from Desmond's journey as opposed to content that explores the past, such as, you know, the Da Vinci Disappearance or the two-part Battle of Folly and Bonfire of the Vanities from AC2. So, yeah, it's one of the least interesting aspects of the game, but it is DLC, and it's the only few sections that are keeping me from the platinum in this game, so you will be seeing that in a couple of episodes' time. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 31. Everything Bye, guys. Changes.